Have you ever wanted to put a waterfall in your laundromat? No, neither have I either. <laughs> you just can't make this stuff up, folks. Hear that? That's the sound of money. You wanna know what sound of money is? That's it. Ching, 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 ching. Ching, 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 ching. Here we have the infamous laundromat geyser. You will come across this a few times in your career if you own a laundromat. I know this seems kind of crazy. We're just dumping it all out. It's going down an endless hole. But we're in a hurry and we gotta move this tank. So that's what you do. Been in the laundromat business, well, you know how this is. So now we just gotta wait a little bit, try not to fall and get all wet. But that is the fun, look at that. Doesn't that just make you wanna own a laundromat? I mean, right there, doesn't that make you wanna own one? I would, that would just seal the deal for me. But you wanna see one of the worst things you can see at a laundromat on a Friday night, Friday afternoon? I'm gonna show you this number one worst thing you can see. Yeah. I don't think we should have water under all that, do you? Look at this. I'm not gonna pull this tape off. This is holding back pressure. You can see it leaking there, bubbling out. We found this this afternoon. It just started leaking. It's not super bad, but it's bad enough that we gotta take this tank out. Problem is, it's Friday night. So, this laundromat doesn't have a bypass. And what a bypass is, is, and I'll try to get over here. This is, this is what laundromats are like. We, you have your cold water coming in, and then it goes to your tank right there. What's gonna happen is we're gonna put a T in here and then put a shut off, and we're gonna go all the way across. There's a pipe over there, and we're gonna tie into it. Then, this pipe you see coming up the back is your hot water line to your islands. We're gonna put, that T is gonna come across, tie in there, and then we have shut off right here. So what we're gonna do is make kind of like an H with a cross in between, and there'll be a shut off in the bottom here for your cold that goes into your hot water system, and there'll be a shut off in the middle to close off the two pipes from each other so they're independent again, and then there'll be a on this side, on your hot side, which runs out of your tank, there'll be a shut off here. So theoretically, what you could do is shut this off, shut that leg off, turn the middle one in, and you bypass your hot water heater. Why do you need one of these? For a time like this. If I had one of these right now, I wouldn't be racing to do this. I could wait till the weekday. I could take the tank out at an easy time. I could get a couple water heaters installed. Now what I gotta do is come over here late at night when the laundromat's closed and there's no customers because I didn't wanna shut it down during the day because this has been leaking for a couple days. We just found it because we didn't, we had the water meter changed. So that's where we thought the water was coming from, but it wasn't, it was our tank. And you just don't realize that. And it was really bad today. But anyway, now I'm here at night, I gotta do this and hopefully I have all the right parts because the stores are closed. So during the day, I went and bought all the fittings I need. And here's what I got. I got the two shutoffs, ball valves, two T's, uh, end, which will go on the end of this, a couple elbows, and if I run out of parts, I'll just have to figure out to finagle some stuff. I got a stick of copper over here that I had here before. So this is what happens. This is what I'm telling you. This is what people don't talk about. So when you buy a laundromat and you have an old tank, this is gonna happen to you. Now this tank is only 10 years old, 10 years old. That is from hard water. What happens is these tanks build up with sludge, sediment, and then they rot from the bottom up. And you might be saying, well, don't you flush your tank out? Every year I flush my tank out. It still happens. You just can't prevent it, it just happens. But I'm going to tankless now. I said the minute this wore out, I'm gonna put two Renai units in like my other laundromat, and I'm gonna get rid of my boiler. So now's the time to do it. I'm waiting for two washers to stop running. I've already put a sign on the door. I'm gonna lock the doors after the people get done using the dryers. I'm gonna have no more customers come in for the washers. And I'm gonna cut some pipes apart and get started here. We've got a dryer running. 
And then we got a washer running. See, there's only got two minutes left. We're in the spin cycle. No more water is going to be used tonight. Let's shut it down. So what we got to do is gotta shut off some water. That's the circulation pump right there. Shut this off. Okay. And that, don't have to shut that off. Here's the main water. Oh, shut that off. So this is dead. We're going to cut it right here and we're going to put that T across. Heat it up, see what we can do. Now the water will keep it from unsoldering. So we got all the water drained out, so we should be good to go here. But it'll take it a little bit because it's dirty and old. And voila! Like I said, the minute it starts to start popping out at you, it's ready to come out. Now it would be handy to have leather gloves for this. I will admit to that. A lot of people hate soldering pipes. There's two reasons. One, it's dirty. Two, it's wet. Those are really the two problems people have. When you hook up to old pipes like this, you gotta make sure it's bone dry in there and you gotta clean all these joints. Any, anytime you have somebody that tells you they're an expert. Now I'm not saying I'm an expert. I'm just saying I've done this a million times. My dad was a plumber. My grandfather was a plumber. And I might as well have been a plumber at this rate. Since there's already solder on there, we're going to be real careful because it may be, well, sometimes what happens is, sometimes what happens is there's not enough, okay, I'm trying to line this up. Sometimes there's just not enough space for that pipe to actually fit on there. So I cleaned that. See how clean that is? That's what you want. Even this is not clean. You need to sand this pipe. You can tell here a little bit. You, you just got to sand it. And you want to put the heat right here, right in that joint. Now you'll notice all the flux start to melt. That's a good thing and it'll start drying up. And that's about the time we get the old solder ready. And what we're doing is we're putting heat here. It's gonna suck that solder right in that joint. See how it just, it's just disappearing? See how it's not disappearing there? Watch. This is a bad spot. bouncing around this is this is a bad spot to get to I'm gonna tell you that right now now we're gonna go ahead and put some flux on this pipe even though it's hot I'm just like I said I'm really crazy about this flux it makes a big difference makes the job a lot easier and I'm sorry I know this is dark and these pipes are hot There we go. Let's solder that joint, huh? Like once this will be a little easier, except the wall.
You might think I'm crazy for going over it so much, but I'm gonna tell you what, the worst thing you can do is come back to this. Some guys just hit it with one strike and it goes all the way around. I'm not that talented. I'm a professional, I'm a professional homeowner and we don't have that skill. But the last thing you wanna do is come back to this and be like, oh, I didn't get a spot because that's exactly what'll happen. My solder joint on this pipe. I did that part first. Then we're going to shove it up there. I'm going to use this handle to try to hold it. So, we've got to go ahead and give it some flux. Now, it's already been fluxed once and it's warm, and I'm sure that's going to go well. All right. So, we got to get our hands all prepared. I need a third arm. This is where everybody needs a third arm. Right here's mine. be soldering upside down it's gonna suck Right now we are live. This is cold. This is shut off. Once I flip this, the water will actually come right out this pipe. So if right now is a good time, make comments. Are my pipes going to leak after I soldered them? Or are they not going to leak? You decide. Leave a comment below. I want to hear how good you think I am or how bad. All right. Well, please God because otherwise I'll be at this longer tonight. There she is, she's firing up. Let's keep an eye, let's keep an eye right in here. Do we see anything? Do you see anything? Well, my dad taught me pretty good, guys. Look at that. Go ahead and release it the rest of the way. Our laundromat's live again. That is awesome. Thank the Lord. So basically, we just created a, an H. I mean, there's the shutoff way over there. You can barely see it. There's the water coming in up there. Comes down. It goes up there to that line. Now, don't, don't criticize. These pipes were here before I got here. It goes all that way that way, and you can see there's two lines way over there. Right there, there's cold, and there's the hot shut off to the island. So now, once I put my new water heater in, that T over there, that elbow over there, will supply me the cold water, and out that pipe will go my hot, and I'll shut that valve off. What do you guys think of that, huh? It's Friday night. Let's see what time it is. I got here, I think, around 7. 9.45. That's a new record for me. That's a personal best. And it's not leaking. Like I said, if you can get your fittings cleaned, and I'm going to show you a fitting. You see the inside of that fitting right there? See that? That's still too dirty. That's, that's too dirty right there. That's too dirty. See how inside it's a lot shinier? That's because I cleaned that. Just like these elbows, you want to see how that's way too dirty, but that's that tarnish, that's tarnish. That's not clean. You have to clean every fitting, even from the store. Even if it's in a package, it has to be cleaned. And you want to get a wire brush the same size as it. And you want to clean the outside. But yeah, look at that. Well, I'm going to put my tools away. I'm going to call it quits for the night. I think I've destroyed my poor laundromat enough. I got mud and insulation. Willie and his buddy will come get that tank tomorrow when I cut it out. We'll take that. That's an RBI uh, boiler. We'll get that on Craigslist and get rid of it and put on two on demand that's in here. And while we're at it, we'll get that softener taken out. Now, I don't use softeners because people oversud your machines. 
but I never took that one out because I was lazy. And this back room is a huge mess. This all needs to be cleaned. That's why we're redoing the island at this place. That's why we're bringing new machines in. This laundromat needs some repairs bad. I mean, not just repairs, but sometimes when you buy laundromats, you're so focused on out there where the customers are, you neglect your back rooms. And you know, we've put the new air handlers in, new air conditioning lines, you can see all that. We're gonna put drains on the floor here. So the drains right there for our discharge. I mean, we're just trying to make this place like a diamond because then that way there's less headaches for me. <laughs> so thanks for watching. That's it for this episode. If you haven't hit the like button, you like this kind of content, you like watching me work on the place, show me some love, hit the like. You know, it helps out the videos. It helps out our little channels a lot. I can't talk, I'm tired. Uh, if you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. I really appreciate all my subscribers. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch my videos, but I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.